I'm Damon E. Today, Uncle Red is talking about M me, Mel Gibson, Alicia Keys, and Elin Wood, and more. How you doing? Let's praise him. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Red, the host of the RH3 show. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this show. I am back. Um, I was gonna, you know, I ain't even gonna go into what I was gonna do or what's been going on or whatever, but I thank y'all for tuning in to today's show. Like the intro said, yes, we are going to talk about uh, Mel Gibson, Elian Woods, Alicia Keys, Mel Gibson and his um, racial slurs, yo, for real. What, when are these celebrities and these behind the closet racist people is going to, um, you know, I was about to say, when are they going to learn? But they're never going to learn because, you know, racism is still exists. Yes, it still exists. But um, we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about, I said, yeah, Alicia Keys and Aline and Mel. But uh, let's get right into it. Like I said, Mel Gibson has reportedly um, added again. The Oscar-winning director and actor who caused a media storm four years ago with his drunken tirade about the anti-Semitic rant. Um, you know, he said a racial slur to his ex, um, his ex-girlfriend. I can't even pronounce her name, and I'm not even gonna go there. But um, yeah. Um, he 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 reportedly he reportedly. He reportedly told her, if you get raped by a pack of N-words, it'll be your fault. And we can't even get mad about it because we know it's going to happen and we know that people still say it and people are still being racist nowadays. But I mean, come on, man, why are you going to put yourself out there and then next thing you know, well, I apologize and I did that and the other. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I mean, maybe he could talk about a white person being a nigga because um, a nigga is an uneducated person or, you know, whatever. That's what I was told. But anyway, um, I, me personally, I'm not going to be um, watching or be a fan or support any of his material. Mel Gibson, I know you've lost a lot of support and you're going to lose one with me. So, next on to the next topic. Um, Elin Woods, yes, Tiger Woods' wife, ex wife, or whatever, is set to be one seriously wealthy lady in the divorce settlement with Tiger Woods. She was reportedly to just only receive him a mere 100 million. I repeat, she's only receiving. Man, I'm trying to tell you, if I received 20 million, I'd be satisfied. But um, yeah, she'll she'll be getting close to a hundred million, according to a source from TMZ.com on Friday the second. Um, Tiger Tiger Woods, his net worth is said to be somewhere near 500 and 600 million. With her supposedly getting that 75 million. Would have robbed, would have put him as slap broke and more. But um, yeah, she will also receive child support. So you know she's gonna receive more from that divorce settlement. Um, in his state, in his stature, and the type of money he has, I believe that um, it is due to her. To be honest with you, it is due to her. Yes. Um. If I was cheating, if I had, let me say this, if my wife was cheating on me, because I would never cheat on my wife or my girlfriend, but um, if my wife was cheating on me, then, yeah, I'll, I'll try to, I'll, I'll do whatever, I mean, because you broke our contract, you broke our trust, you broke our bond, you broke our union, or whatever, in this marriage, and 
It'll be forgiveness, but I we can't go back. No. Mm -mm. But anyway, divorce is being very close to being finalized, and they have agreed almost everything. But and when they file the papers, there will be a lot of public detail in the documents. So we, as the public media, as the public eye, will know about this stuff. So this report says but um they've worked everything out so that the financial status can be at least be made private so i wish them the best i'm praying for them i pray tiger get himself together i pray that tiger leave them floozies yes they are them females alone and i pray that you know elaine just go ahead and do what she got to do but um you know much prayer and and you know for tiger and elaine okay Next and last um, thing, our girl Alicia Keys. According to the media, Alicia Keys has, she just like our girl Scarlett, takes a tumble. Yeah, she, in a 30 second, I believe, video, it says that it seems that she has fallen. It shows that she's fallen and gets back up. I don't think she's taking this pregnancy seriously and um you know she think oh yeah just because i'm pregnant and the baby's inside of me is protected child i mean you could have knocked something loose in the inside but you, i hope she got checked and i hope everything is fine and i hope that um her and her baby is okay but um yeah i pray that alicia key is fine she climbing on pianos and gyrating and dancing and moving alicia baby slow down slow down please slow down this is my entertainment news that was supposed to been out friday but um it's been the weekend and i've been you know been going through some personal things but you know what i am back and i am doing it i'm going head forward you know it's going to be a ride so if you got anything any topic ideas any show ideas any giveaway ideas any um, interview ideas whatever please hit me up um soon rs3 will be doing a a our first interview with an up-and-coming gospel artist here on youtube you can go search him his name is Derek thompson and the interview will be coming in about i say i give it a week or two but i'm um, just stay tuned and just watch out for the interview and we you know we're gonna if you got some good questions for him um email me at ask rh3 at gmail.com that's a s k r h the number three at gmail.com and um i'll put his information below in the bottom information bar so in the meantime you guys have a blessed and wonderful day and i'll be talking to y'all soon peace out yeah, girl, you so special, you make a bro want to sing, you know what I mean? What you mean I can't sing? This is a little love song for all my gentlemen, classy ladies. If you a player out there, sit your tail down somewhere and grow up. <laughs> we can be more, lady, we can be more. We can be more, lady, we can be more. Yeah, if you stepped in, God heal my heartache. And this is way past lust, no prom date. And we can be a sweet aroma, strange. And they can call us outcast, Andre. So my boys, yeah, catch me, I'm falling. You were on my team even when I ain't falling. You were patient with your boy in the worst case. I was like 9-11, the worst date. You've been running through my mind, first place. Those other girls stay weak like Thursday. This is gentlemen's music, boys to men. I'm done with that player's life, born again. We'll be joined in body and soul, heart and mind, money and time. If she's chocolate or vanilla or your butterscotch cream,